Hi everyone. As much as I cringe when I hear the phrase violence against women because I think it's exclusionary and uh, for the same reason that I'm not a feminist nor am I a men's rights advocate, uh, I, I guess I could call myself an equalist, I'm not sure. I, you know, I believe in the uh, equal opportunity for all and uh, equal treatment of all. You know, I would, I would hope that we would project ourselves into the world as individuals and that we would treat one another as individuals and let the content of our character dictate our relationship and not the color of our skin, etc., etc. And I've, you know, heard it said by feminists that they represent men's, men's issues as well. I'm also an empiricist and I don't see much evidence of that. And so for those reasons, I shy away from those kind of labels and those kinds of organizations. Having said that I don't like the term violence against women because I feel like it's exclusionary, um, I will say that I would like to officially add my name to the list of people calling for an official inquiry into the missing and murdered First Nations women here in Canada. I do feel like it's a group that is targeted and I'm not sure exactly what the reason is for that. However, I think that's where it's important to have a national dialogue and have an inquiry into what exactly happens when it comes to investigating these incidents. A young woman by the name of Renelle Harper, she's 16 years old, she recently recovered from an incredibly brutal beating, in fact several of them. She apparently got separated from some friends and met with a couple of guys who led her to a pier or a dock somewhere. They beat her up and threw her in the river. And she managed to somehow survive that. She actually got herself to shore and got out of the river. And I guess that wasn't good enough for them. And they beat her again and uh, left her for dead. Her family didn't recognize her uh, in the hospital when they went to see her. Uh, just horrific. Now, in this case, the police are being sort of praised because they were able to apprehend a couple of guys very quickly. And, and apparently, it sounds like they are the perpetrators. But the, the, the accusations generally are that police don't act swiftly, strongly, actively enough to investigate missing and murdered uh, First Nations women here in Canada. In the Lower East Side of Vancouver City in British Columbia, there have been quite a few women who were uh, missing and, and some of them have never been found and some of them have been found. Um, there's of course a, the, the great case of the Picton murders which eventually got discovered and that was, um, I mean, an incredible house of horrors, just unimaginable uh, horror there. And the accusation of course is that, you know, the, these are targeted murders or, or abductions um, because they are First Nations women. Now, a lot of the women who have gone missing in the, the east side of Vancouver, they're not all First Nations women, they're, but they are pretty much all women of low socioeconomic status. And that may be the reason for the lack of, of active investigations. And it's hard to say, you know, if, if the people who perpetrate these crimes are doing it for racial reasons, i.e. that they actually hate First Nations people and they're targeting them specifically, or if they're simply opportunists who do also perceive that the police will not investigate as actively a missing First Nations woman and, they, a woman and they target them specifically. But either way, uh, it's pretty horrific. And I would like to add my name to the list of people who are calling for an, for a, an inquiry into the missing and murdered First Nations women here in Canada. And I think it's time for a national dialogue uh, because it does appear to me that, that this is a targeted group. And um, 16 years old, you know, that's, wow. Obviously any age would be horrific to be attacked like that, but um, this, this young woman gave a, a speech at a First Nations gathering and uh, I suppose it's a it's it's possibly a gift of nature that however our brains work that through trauma she actually doesn't remember the events but still must be very difficult for her to to go through the physical recovery and to to have to be sort of the face for First Nations women who've been attacked and uh, she's you know, looking forward to getting back to school and uh, she's calling for this inquiry and I think that would be a good thing. Thanks everyone for watching.